All rise. Again, <clears throat> dearly beloved, we are gathered here today before God, family, and good friends to celebrate the holy matrimony of this man and this woman. And now the bride and the groom have chosen to dispense with the traditional vows so that they may make promises to each other that are more personal and meaningful. JT. Victoria, when, uh, when I was waiting for you to wake up, I was so sure it was gonna happen that I, I would bring you your favorite latte every day. I guess I just felt if, I don't know, if I did something normal, something simple, that you would eventually come back to me. Well, I did. So my first promise to you is no matter what time of day, to always bring you a latte. My heart was in my throat when I saw you come down that aisle. Not too long ago, people were wondering if you'd ever wake up. If you'd ever have a chance to, to know our son. But tonight, you're my miracle. You and our son, Reed, who is here to witness all of this. Victoria, I give you my love my devotion. I promise to be the best husband I can be and the best father I can be to read and our many children to come. <laughs> Some discussion needed there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a man who's been given the greatest gift in the world. And I thank God for bringing you into my life, Victoria. And for also bringing you back to read in me. Victoria, I vow to honor you and to love you for the rest of my life. Victoria? JT? I will drink every latte that you bring me, just as I will cherish every gift that you've given me the strength of your love, the protection of your arms, and the power of your heart. You know, when I was a little girl, I dreamed about wearing a dress like this and marrying the man that I love. But you are a far better man than I could have ever imagined. So blessed to have found you. And I don't want to miss one day, one moment of being husband and wife and parents of our remarkable son. You know, the vows usually go in sickness and in health. We've already done that first part. But I'm, I'm here now. And I'm better. And I promise you, I will be here forever. I love you. I've always loved you. And I will love you until the day that I die. Join hands, please. JT. Do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? 
I do. Victoria, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? Oh, I do. Where this ring is a symbol of my love, my dedication, and my devotion. I feel honored and blessed that someone as incredible as you has chosen to spend your life with me. Wear this ring as a symbol of my love, my dedication, and my devotion. This is the moment that my life has been building to. Thank you so much for making my dreams a reality. Before God and the witness of family and friends, I pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Well, thank you. Thank you for holding me up, Dad. Well, now there's another strong man in our family who holds you up when I'm not around. Oh, you'll always be around. Well, you know, the thing called life is fleeting sometimes. Now, JT, protecting my daughter is of utmost importance to me. You're the man to do it now. Is that a threat or a compliment? You take it any way <laughs> you want. <laughs> Well, don't worry. I have no intention of ever taking my eyes off her. Mom, it's fine. It's okay, really. What's wrong? No, nothing is wrong. I'm just happy. When I think back of all of those months when you were asleep and looked at your heart monitor and we counted your breaths. I didn't dare hope that this day would come. Just live life to the fullest, my darling. Well, I'm sorry that I had you all so worried. Don't you worry. Mm -hmm. Shall we toast the bride and groom? Somebody there needs to go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Great job, bro. Uh, this is beautiful. It was really, it was really an honor to be part of the, the wedding party. To Victoria and JT, together forever. May you live a long and happy life. And I second that. Me too. Cheers. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Well, thanks for coming on short notice. Oh, we wouldn't have missed it for the world. Oh, you got everything that you hoped for while you were under that rubble. Yes, I did. And a whole lot more. <laughs> well, we wish you all the best, really. You deserve this. You deserve everything good that can happen. Thanks for asking us to share in your special day. It means a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'll show you up. OK. Bye. Hi. Hey. Hi. I was um, surprised to see you here. Yeah, I uh, just felt like I needed to be here. It's wonderful to see you so happy. Thank you. 
Thank you for being so gracious. You're absolutely glowing. I think things turned out exactly the way they were meant to. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Victoria. You look so beautiful. Thank I was you. just telling Nick, you look amazing. And congratulations to both of you. Well, thank you. Uh, have some food and drinks. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really sure. Here, drinks. have some champagne. You shouldn't be empty handed at a wedding. Um, okay. <laughs> um, well, the house just looks. Elegant. This must have been a really beautiful wedding. Oh, yeah, it was the best ever. Oh, hey, there's Noah. Um, well, I'm, I'm gonna go grab Noah. Night. All right, careful. Oh, Noah was a finger. Oh. <laughs> don't want to lose a cake. I know, don't lose a cake. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Some cake. All right. Put it all over the Open wide. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Mm. Mm. Oh. So sweet. Oh, yeah. I'm so sweet. <laughs> Where's your father? I have no idea. <sighs> I'm really worried about him. Something's bothering him. Maybe it's because he has no family left. Sweet love, I need to talk to you for a moment. Okay. Um, I'm going to be going away for a while. I can't tell you where, and I won't know for how long, but I don't want you to worry. Oh, no. Something's wrong. No, I can tell. don't you worry. There's nothing wrong with me. Why? Right? I can't tell you right now. Okay, but just know that you'll be with JT, and that means you're in good hands. I know that. Okay. I love you, and I want you to concentrate on getting stronger. All right, Daddy. Thank you for tonight. It's our dream come true, isn't it, my sweet love? Hmm? Yeah. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> You're the one bright light in my life. Says. Oh, I love you. Mwah. It's so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Great. I would be happy to take you home, Catherine. Well, thank you, Paul. That would be nice. Do you know, I really was hoping to catch the bouquet. I, did I miss it or you didn't throw oh. it? Oh, the bouquet. I completely <laughs> forgot. It's right here. How can I right here. Here we go. All right. Uh -oh. It's never too late. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right, go for it, girl. <laughs> One, two, three. Wow! Oh, look at that. Oh, what do you know? What do you know? Yeah, <laughs> good news. Listen, this has been an evening none of us will ever, ever forget. We'll remember it always. God bless. Good night. Yeah, Paul, good night. Go, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll okay. do Thank all right. You so much. All right. Well, you appreciate it, Paul. Yeah, I will. Try safe. Buddy, take care. Thanks again. All right. Okay. I really don't want this night to end. It won't. This is just the beginning. David, thank you for helping JT get everything together tonight. Thank you. It was my pleasure. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Up. Oh! <laughs> Careful. <laughs> this is a little bit further than the threshold, but I think I can okay, handle well, it. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> And David are tidying up. I can see so we're finally alone. That's right. Bride, groom, and baby was out like a light. 
Sleep to last a lifetime. Yeah. I'm so happy. I feel so complete. I don't want this day to ever end. Who says it has to? I'm sure of you.